You're watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your Five in Five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. Thank you to all the realtors who have signed up for the CTR text alert system. It's an important step to stay up to date on topics that can impact you and your business. It's also one of the first steps you can take to lock in a $100 discount on your 2020 state association dues. Once you sign up for text alerts, CTR will notify you about calls for action. Responding to a call for action is one step that qualifies you for the dues discount. Simply registering for text alerts does not. Targeted and statewide calls for action are ongoing, so you have multiple opportunities to respond. Sign up for the CTR text alert system at ctrealtors.com text. Again, registering for text alerts is just the first step to get your dues discount. You must also respond to a call for action to qualify. Connecticut Realtors stands with the governor in opposition to a proposed increase in the capital gains tax. Legislative Democrats made the proposal to the Finance, Revenue and Bonding Committee. Governor Ned Lamont strongly opposes the idea. CTR believes any increase in the capital gains tax will give individuals and businesses further reason not to invest in the state. It also gives higher income earners another reason to move out of state. The proposed capital gains increase is part of the ongoing budget process. The legislature has not yet presented its final budget proposal. CTR President Dan Coyne recently took the association's message to the airwaves. We do view ourselves as the protectors of private property rights. I mean, we're looking out for the homeowner when the homeowner's at work. Coyne appeared on WATR's Talk of the Town to discuss many issues, including the association's increased political involvement and the current state of our state. Connecticut has a lot of great things going for it, but, but again, all of these things are easy to love mm -hmm. so long as you have a stable, predictable future. I think from our perspective, we are looking for somebody that understands we can't just tax ourselves out of this we got to grow ourselves out of this. Mm -hmm. Coyne also talked about CTR's recent commercial campaign called Love Connecticut, Live Connecticut. It encourages homeowners to work with realtors to protect home values. And together, we can make our state a great place for the next generation to call home. Coyne stressed the desire to see pro-growth ideas to make people want to stay and come back to Connecticut. You can listen to the entire interview at ctrealtors.com slash announcements. NAR launched an ad campaign earlier this year called That's Who We Are. It's built to show consumers who realtors are and the value they provide. The campaign is also designed to be used by local boards and associations to highlight their realtor pride and the difference they make in their community. Many boards in Connecticut are doing just that. The Eastern Connecticut Association of Realtors is actually highlighted on NAR's website as an example of integrating the campaign into your website. ECAR also recently highlighted two of its charitable efforts using the hashtag, That's Who We Are. Go to thatswhoweare.realtor to download campaign materials that you can customize as well. 21 lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are calling for an investigation into how insurance companies change their policies to avoid covering homes with crumbling foundations. State Representative Tom Del Nicky from South Windsor authored the letter, which was then signed by his House and Senate colleagues. It went to the governor, the state attorney general, and the insurance commissioner and asks for a Connecticut Unfair Insurance Act investigation. Del Nicky says the goal is to get the insurance companies to be part of the solution rather than the subject of a full investigation. It's basically unfair that the insurance industry has not been part of the solution on the crumbling foundation issue. Quite frankly, for years they were collecting premiums and continue to collect premiums, yet as premiums would be collected, people would file claims, language would be changed, and people were denied coverage. It's high time they come to the table be part of the solution and not the problem. Del Nicky says the violation started around 2002 and continued up until about three years ago. He wants to see the insurance companies open their books so the state can look at why, when, and how policies were changed. 
That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.